What's up, YouTube? I have a lot of bags. I like bags. <laughs> so going through, I forgot to tell ya. Little case logic sling bag. It's got a five of eleven um, Moab sling bag that I use. There's an Osprey bag I've used. Another little sling bag I've used. Another five eleven bag I've used. And while I like them all, they're not very good for cameras. And so. I'll carry my camera everywhere I go, but other than the camera bag, but it's really not good for everything else I want to carry. So, on the search for our new bag. So, I got a new bag. Let's open it up. By the description, you know what's in here. Uh, I've been going back and forth between this bag. I've really uh, thinking about the Everyday Messenger for a long time, um, but I just want something I can expand a little more into. And with kids, I mean, I'm carrying diapers and wipes and all kind of other stuff, and so I needed something that I felt like would carry a little more capacity friendlier than the everyday messenger. So let's take a look at this thing. What's up YouTube? This video is a continuation of my last video. Um, I sat down and did a little b-roll and just played around a little bit and sat back down started talking um, and this is what I got. I don't know if you can hear that uh, no children will harm in the making of this video. It's night night time and Timothy does not want to go night night. So he's pitching kind of a fit in there. So uh, I guess I'm going to have to go get him and feed him. See if he wants some food. He probably just wants to be talked to. Peace. But anyway, it gave me an opportunity to go and actually use this bag for a little over a week. Um, actually went on vacation, went to Austin. Uh, then went to New Braunfels for Worst Fest, which is an awesome time. Got to see some friends I haven't seen in a while. Uh, so just a, really a blast. Um, and I carried this bag almost everywhere I went. I uh, did take it to Worst Fest, uh, took backpacks allowed in there. Everywhere else we went, we took the backpack. Uh, so whether it's, you know, walking around 6th Street uh, at night or, you know, going to you know, different places around Austin, going to South Congress just to do some shopping and just messing around, uh, going around downtown New Braunfels, which was great. Um, I took a long walk around New Braunfels. I think the cat turned on the kid toy because everybody's asleep right now. Um, so, but uh, it was great. My parents got the kids and actually came home to a potty trained two year old and the twins are sleeping through the night. So, uh, it was a good vacation. Came back and they're sleeping at eight o'clock in the morning, which is huge. They were waking up at one o'clock um, to eat again when we left. So it was uh, a, a welcome change. Um, so anyway, about the bag and how I carry it, uh, like I said uh, at the beginning of the video, I'm using this as a you know, dad bag, diaper bag, tech bag, um, a little bit of everything. I don't carry a lot of camera equipment. Uh, I don't have a lot of camera equipment. And so, just go over how things I think about it, things I like about it. So let's go to the organization of it and how I kind of use it. And, uh, first off, I mean these zippers are good. Uh, zippers they feel good but they do catch on the turns and so sometimes they're just kind of awkward to open it either way um, so this bottom pouch is where I keep my camera and not this camera this is just for demonstration uh, that camera right there my a6500 fits down here 35 millimeter lens um, it fits snugly in here perfectly 
Uh, the second compartment, and then I use this to kind of protect my. I use this second place just a place to put my strap. And so my strap, I'll just stuff it in there. And so I'll pull it out, I got the strap it ready to go. The second one I fold over, this is where I put my, my Sony 18 to 105 uh, G lens. And it fits just good in there. I fold it over. This is the side I open it on. I don't want to, I don't want it falling out. Um, second bonus with this bag is if I've got this lens attached to the camera body, I put my 35 millimeter in here. Um, I can fold this up and then I can stick the lens this way attached to the camera body. The camera body be sitting here. And so either way, whichever lens I've got, I can fit both lenses and the camera body uh, in here attached. Uh, and that was a really good thing. I didn't have to change the vibes or anything. The way I've got it set up, I can use my camera with either lens attached and the second lens in here and easily accessible. And that's one thing I really, I really did like and it did come in handy. I didn't have to do anything with my camera, change lenses if I'm going to pack it back up. Uh, the second part up here um, is actually connected through here. Uh, the first thing I've got is my tech kit, this little bag I got from Walmart. And I've got a battery pouch in here, I got my uh, earbuds, I've got the spare memory cards, memory card reader iPad, connection, camera connector, and some cables I use. Um, it was very handy, always handy to carry this around. Also, I didn't carry this in Austin because I didn't have any kids, but I've got uh, six diapers and um, uh, some wipes in here for the kids. So when I do, I'll typically always have this in here because I don't want to have to pack diapers and wipes when I'm going somewhere. Uh, I can have them in here, they're tucked up under. I can access them from the side, either side, without removing anything. And that's, that was, that's a pretty big plus and I have done that with the kids. Um, so that's pretty much it on the inside. I mean, that's, that's what I needed. I've also got room for a change of clothes for the kids if I need it. Um, I haven't yet, but it's there. Uh, typically, if I'm going to go somewhere and need a change of clothes or more than six diapers, I'll take a larger bag just with kids stuff in it that usually got packed up or, or just those stuff in the back of the car. Um, but if I'm walking around with them, that's more than what I'll need. Uh, side pockets, this little flexible side. I haven't done a whole lot with these yet. I've got a, a cleaning cloth, some alcoys, and some uh, lens wipes up here, um, and spare battery. Uh, like I said, not a whole lot of use in these pockets yet. I feel like I don't really want to a whole lot because if I open this side pocket up, I'm always afraid I'm something's gonna fall out. I'm gonna knock something out. So I prefer, if I'm going to use something quick access, I want to come for this way uh, and grab my roll. So typically most of my stuff is going to be in the roll. Also in the side pocket, I got my Manfrotto mini tripod and I've got a, some reviews coming on about this stuff coming up. Uh, on this side, I don't have anything. But what I did like about this bag is I was able to carry a water bottle whenever I needed to. So I picked up the bottle. Even large bottles of water fit, and one of the things I always wondered was would this fit? Because this is the bottle I'll carry. I'll fill it up with coffee sometimes. Sometimes I'll put, you know, water in it, carry it around, uh, juice, whatever. Um, that was that was something I wasn't sure about it because, but I like this bottle. Like you get a lot of use out of it, and it takes a little work, but you can get in there and it is snug, uh, and it, it's nice. I mean, it's. It's very handy to be able to have that there. It's good to be able to carry a water bottle this size. All right, so that's um, this side pocket. See what I mean? That's why I like to, to keep this side folded. This is side I typically access um, because I don't want this you know, falling out of this side. Um, this pocket, the only thing I've really got, I've got a battery charger and two spare batteries attached in there. And I've got a flashlight. So I always get to carry out a flashlight for whatever reason. <clears throat> but once again, things I don't use a whole lot of, 
I, if I'm filming a lot, or if I'm using a lot of batteries, those batteries won't be there. They'll be the different part. All right, the top pockets. Top pocket's pretty cool, and I, I really liked it a lot. Um, I've got my wife's MacBook Air in there, and I'll carry my iPad Pro. Sometimes I would carry my iPad Pro, my wife's iPad Pro in here. Um, both of hers is a thicker case on it. Um, and or if this that this laptop's in there and my iPad's on there, it makes it a lot more uncomfortable. This just sticks out and it's just kind of bulging and hard on your back. I prefer it just with the iPad in there. Uh, that's pretty comfortable. And this little top pocket right there, it's kind of my you know quick access. Got an inhaler. I've got Carmex. Got a GoPro, and then a little pack of uh, allergy relief. And I, I would stuff random stuff in here too. Um, if I was going to use batteries, a lot of batteries, that's where I put my batteries. It's, it's very, very good, quick access there. Um, but overall, this thing's cool. I used to put my clip keys on there a lot. Um, that was pretty handy. Uh, just let them dangle or stuff in that pocket either way. But that was a you know, that, that was nice if I'm walking around I'd have to have my keys in my pocket and not have to worry about exactly where they were. Um, so that's pretty much it on what I had in there. Uh, the latch, there's a lot of talk on this latch and um, it is awesome. Uh, without a doubt, it is very handy. Uh, it's very quick and easy and secure. I like that, you know, if it's down you can't pull it and it locks into place. You have to pull it, you know, kind of pop it out. Then pull it down to open a very quick action. And once you get the hang of it, it's pretty handy. Um, the material, once again, you know, I've used this thing all around Austin and it, it took a beating. Um, just setting it down all over the place. And I'm not sure if you can see, but there's some marks on it. Uh, I'm not sure if that's, you know, you know actually the material scuffed. And we can take a look at it. Got a wet wash off. Or want to kind of try to clean some of these up. Yeah, you know, see if it does clean up or if it is. It's probably any color on camera, but you have to take more on it. Um, some of them are. I mean, it, there's definitely some wear and tear on it. Um, that's my first thought of having a black backpack. Is you know, how is it going to hold up? Hold up. And, you know, I think there will be marks on there. I think it will have marks, but for the most part, I think it's going to hold up okay. Um, it's going to give it a little character and, and no frayed edges, no, you know, nothing falling apart on it, which is which is always good if you use it for as much as I did. Uh, so I did have a question on the latch and how it would hang up and if it was, you know, coated or not. And, you know, I'll give you a picture of this, but it it is going to... The black is going to rub off in places. I've already got it. I've had to use this bag for a little over a week now. And the edge of my buckle where it's hit things when I set it down, uh, you can see the silver coming through. So that's that's kind of disappointing, but I guess what else can you expect? I mean, that's going to happen. Um, but I was hoping that it would, would stay black for longer than a week. But just knowing that with the black version that you are going to scuff that up. Overall, in closing, I'm very happy with the bag. It's extremely flexible. Uh, I can use it for a camera bag. I can put more camera equipment in it. I can take all the camera equipment out of it. I can, you know, make it just a backpack for whatever I want. Uh, it's very handy. Uh, look for reviews of dads or moms using this bag as a camera slash a diaper bag. Didn't find anything. Um, that's why, you know, I posted this video. Would I recommend this bag? I'd say absolutely. If this is in your budget, and this is what you're looking to spend, I would get this bag. Um, it's got everything I've, I've asked for. I've debated between this and the 30 liter. I went with the 20 liter, um, and I'm happy I did. I feel like the 30 liter could come in handy sometimes, but I don't feel the capacity as it is on a daily basis, so I wouldn't need that extra uh, space all the time. Glad you uh, 
Glad you watched my video. If you've got any questions, ask me. I'll answer everything you've got. So I don't think I'm with subscribers out there. I think I've got, you know, six. I think one of them's my wife. And so uh, I really appreciate if you would give me a subscribe, uh, thumbs up if you like it. If you want to see something else, if you got any questions, just, just hit me up and ask. All right, peace.